Hi guys, good morning. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit different of a video. I was shooting a entire like 30 day video for you guys, but I'm gonna be changing that up. I'm gonna be doing a health update video. I've been going through it. You can see on my chest, I have the world's worst rash. Um, it's been all over my body. It's been migrating all over. So today we're gonna to talk about my health journey and what's going on with my health currently. And then someone wants to go on a da, 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 a walk. Um, and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm planning on doing about it while we go to see specialists and all of that. I'm gonna tell you my plan for just managing symptoms and I'm gonna show you a couple what? <laughs> a couple things. So I'm gonna take them on a walk and then I'll shoot the rest of this video. Okay, so we just got back from our dog walk and today is day one. <laughs> of the autoimmune diaries. So this is gonna be something where I'm just gonna update you guys periodically on what's going on. So let me actually get a stand so I can talk, talk, talk to you guys. Okay, so um, essentially <laughs> today is day one. Um, I'm gonna be documenting the autoimmune journey. So the past couple days have been extremely hard. The past two weeks, two or three weeks was when things started going really downhill. You guys can see I have a really bad rash on my chest which has migrated from my legs it's I still have it on my legs like all on my upper legs some on the lower leg it was on my hands and feet um, some of it on the neck and then some on like the arms it was really bad um, very 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 itchy and just really uncomfortable but that's just the start of my symptoms I have a whole laundry list of symptoms that changes from day to day to day but my top really, really severe symptoms are extreme vertigo, dizziness, um, bloody noses that will last up to like four or five hours. I have to use a certain spray in my nose in order to stop them. And even with that, it still continues to bleed. Um, right now I have a lot of head pressure. It almost feels like the flu, but worse. Um, I've had off and on where it's like a choking sensation um, where I can't breathe, the shortness of breath. Um, and then the dizzy spell gets even worse. It's it's just a laundry list of symptoms, um, all sorts of stuff, right? So it's, it's so hard to name all of it. And I'm sure the autoimmune community will relate to this is that symptoms can change from hour to hour. They can change from day to day, week to week. Um, my flare up started the day after I went to a grand opening. Um, I haven't been eating the cleanest diet and this is like what is bringing me back to my roots. Um, you know, I could get away with doing certain things here and there and then until I couldn't, essentially. Like I could get away with eating kind of whatever I wanted. You know, I was going to Starbucks a lot. I definitely took advantage of the, um, oh my gosh, what is it? The fall drinks, you know, not the pumpkin spice latte. I don't like that. I actually like the apple crisp oat milk milk can't say that oat milk the best um it just tastes really good so i was definitely enjoying all of the things i was eating kind of whatever i wanted i've been doing lots of restaurant reviews which i still may continue to do but um things are going to change a little bit around here so what my plan of action is is today is going to be day one so today is really day one of me cleaning up my diet completely i'm, I'm going to be going back to the carnivore diet yesterday was a horrendous day i was sick the entire day and by sick i mean extremely sick like bed ridden couldn't even get out of bed when my husband got home i was just so so sick like i kept losing feeling and even today it's like the joints are so stiff and everything just feels like it's so hard to describe but it's like you lose feeling you get pins and needles and then you'll lose feeling in like the arms and the legs randomly and when you're walking it feels like jello like you can't really you have to focus on walking which is the weirdest sensation if there's anyone out there who's going through this i am so sorry you're going through this because it is the worst um i had a completely normal life like no real health issues aside from when i was younger i did i was diagnosed with something called abdominal migraine so turns out i had celiac disease which is a stomach issue where you can't have gluten um so eating gluten all those years caused a lot of stomach pain and a lot of other issues and um the thing about celiac is it is an autoimmune condition it is an autoimmune disease and eating gluten doesn't cause symptoms necessarily right away like sometimes i get stomach pain i'd have like a sharp stabbing feeling like right underneath here in the rib cage but sometimes i wouldn't get any symptoms and 
honestly, that happened very recently. I had zero symptoms. If I had a little gluten here and there, zero symptoms. And then boom, it hits you all at once. And it's like a train going full speed. There's no stopping it and you get really sick. So that's where we're at today. Today is kind of like this day where I'm like coming to terms with the fact that I'm gonna have to really, really, really clean up my diet if I want to function. Um, the things that I've gone through in the past three weeks have been extremely scary um, and feeling my body go through this has been extremely scary. Um, this flare-up has been probably one of the worst flare-ups I've had since 2020, maybe even before that. So it's been really, really bad and um, we are going to medical specialists. So I do have a specialist lined up. I'm going to go to an immu immunologist. I literally have a stack of papers over here that has all of my referrals. I'm literally going to all these different doctors. But in the meantime, I need to live my life. I need to be in good health so I can get to my appointments. You know, I don't want to give up driving again, which I had to do before. I want to live as healthy as possible while I'm going to these appointments. So um, in the meantime, I am going back to the carnivore diet and I'm going to really clean up my everything. So I'm going to keep, continue to do electrolytes. I do have um, electrolytes in here. They are sugar-free. I'm cutting out all sugar of any form. Um, so no sugar. It's just going to be me. I'm getting that choking feeling again. It's going to be meat, water, electrolytes, obviously like all of the add-ins that I can do. Like um, I will continue to do my greens. So I do have a greens powder I use. I'm going to continue to do greens, um, probiotics, all of that stuff, collagen. But I'm going to be just eating beef and chicken and all of that. So I'm going to keep it super, super, super simple. Um, we are starting a a treatment today. It's like so choky feeling. We are starting a treatment today um, for something that we suspected is. It's going to be a treatment that's not going to be like super invasive. And I don't want to talk so much about treatments on here because what people are dealing with is all different and you should go to a medical professional. So I will keep you guys updated. I will update you guys probably a little bit later on this week, maybe like every seven days I'll update you. Um, but I'm actually really excited to get my life back. I'm excited to be able to do all the things I used to do, like run and all of that, which has become increasingly hard um, given all of the symptoms that I'm having. It's just like something that I can't even really wrap my brain around with like fatigue and the migraines and all of that and the joint pain and the loss of feeling in my hands and feet and legs. It's just, it's a lot. And so I'm going to basically just really, 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 really dial in everything. Lifestyle, diet, managing stress. I'm going to allow myself more self-care time. I may even take a bath today. Like I really want to start slowing down life. This is something that I should have been doing this whole time is really making sure that I had time to slow down, read a book, take a bath, do the things that are very self-care, the things I used to love doing, like even ice rolling my face. I haven't done that in forever. Um, doing more like the skincare stuff. I do pay attention to my skin quite a bit. Like I don't have anything on my skin right now, but sunscreen and my skin has gotten really clear up here. Obviously don't look at this. This is like a mess, um, but I'm still dealing with some rosacea. So I have rosacea right here. You can see um, on my chin right here, the rosacea. So I'm hoping this will clear up too. I will be doing my part two, all of these are going to be without makeup. So right now I don't have any like, um, I just have lashes, lash extensions. So that's the only thing, lash extensions and then a little bit of brow gel and that's it. Um, we had an appointment we had to go to this morning, but this is what we're going to do to check in is so that you guys can see the progress on, uh, my throat is like swelling. Um, so you guys can see the progress on my skin from my chest and everything like that. So I don't have any self tanner on. This is my natural color. I haven't done self tanner in probably two weeks just to really let my skin rest and breathe while I go through this and navigate through this. Um, I want to kind of keep it as natural as possible. I did switch out all my products to non-toxic products. Um, and I do still have <laughs> Bath and Body Works, um, shower gel and stuff which i'll use that up and then i'll get rid of it and switch to something natural um but yeah so basically that is the plan of action is that we are going to switch out all products to non-toxic more natural products we are switching food to a carnivore diet 
um, with, with some veggies. So obviously with the greens and I'm going to still allow like cucumbers and things like that um, at the place we're at right now. So if it does continue to get worse, I'll cut all that and just go to beef. But in the meantime, I do want to keep veggies in. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'll keep you guys updated um, and wish me luck on this. If you are going through something like this, I am so sorry. It is so frustrating and it can take so long to get answers. And so my heart goes out to anyone who's dealing with stuff like this. It's just really, really traumatic. It really affects um, work, life, everything and self-esteem and just everything. Like I had severe depression going through this. Like it's really hard because um, you're not able to do the things you were once able to do. And I think that's the hardest thing about autoimmune is that it steals the quality of life. So it's like, yes, you're alive, but you're living only a fraction of what, what you used to live. And so that's the hard part about autoimmune. So my heart goes out to anyone who's dealing with this. I I hope this video helped you guys and I'm just kind of keeping this as kind of my video diary. Um, you guys know I've been on here for a decade now and this has been always been a place where I've come to update about life and it's nice to be able to go back and look through these videos and see you know how things were and just that period of time even when things are super hard like they are right now it's good to be able to go back and look at that when things are better and just like in general like it's good to be able to reflect back on things so hopefully this helps some of you guys and i promise i'll have more fun videos going forward i do have a love shack fancy haul that is coming i took advantage of the sale that they, that they were having and so I'm going to be doing an update on that because I'm really excited about it. I did get a skirt for like $67. I was so happy about that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys are well. Don't forget to hit like, the little thumbs up, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, good morning. So this is officially day one. I'm gonna... So we are 117.9 this morning. Down from 120 just a day or two ago. So that's probably water weight since I'm eating carnivore. Gonna lose weight a little bit quicker. My BMI is 21.7. Body fat is 29.1%. Yeah, this is just some other statistics. Mm -hmm.